let's uh, make a note in uh, new forge so for that we will use cipher and to learn cipher you need to learn the cipher commands and its syntax so let's say uh, we want to create a node so nodes in a relation there are two things one is node and the other thing is relationship so let's say we want to create this thing like we have ali and uh, the other node having the data hasan and this relationship between these two nodes and the relationship says is father of ali is father of hasan so basically the node in new 4j is a dictionary data structure like in python dictionary and the relationship is also a dictionary data structure like a python dictionary so you know that uh, in python we declare a dictionary like this that this is a person node so person is equal to curly brackets and and you write here let's say name colon ali and you put inverted commas over the label as well and the value as well so this is a syntax of a dictionary in python so in the new 4j this is quite similar you just need to erase this thing and erase inverted commas from the key now this has become the dictionary uh, of the new 4j a structure of the new 4j that is used for to represent a node and a relationship as well okay now we want to create a relationship so what we need to do we need to use whenever we want to create anything we will use create command we have to use create command and i'll recommend that use commands in a capital letter in fully capitalized and then like we want to create a node so basically if we erase let's say we want to create a node so basically if we erase this node from the center just to remember so this has become two uh, parentheses so what will uh, come inside this uh, parentheses you can just put this whole dictionary inside it that's it so uh, let's do this on the new 4j let's do rest of the coding in the new 4j so 
create is a command you can also type in small letters so new 4g also consider that but i would recommend that you write commands click applies and then the type of the node with first letter capital is the best practice by this uh, you will remember uh, that uh, whenever you will see your cipher you will see you can understand easily that okay these are the types of nodes and these are the commands of cipher and uh, these are the variables and variable names fully uh, small case so dictionary name and then you can write Ali so this is a complete cipher command when I will hit enter it will create a node in uh, new 4j but that node won't appear here uh, you won't be able to see it until you use this keyword return okay so return what return a keyword does it uh, make a node appear on the screen okay so as I told you that cipher query is a complete uh, uh, program so we can also utilize variable use variables and other programming constructs in the cipher so uh, and uh, when we want to write a variable here so we know that all of the variables uh, would, consi would consist of uh, nodes so we don't need to mention their types it is understood that it would contain a node that is a dictionary object so this is a uh, syntax of writing variable a variable name here and then colon so uh, let's say that uh, uh, we can represent person uh, Ali by P1 to represent that it's one person. It's a person number one. And then we uh, we need to utilize that variable over here, return P1. So what this queries does, this would create a node with only one attribute that is a name and the value of that attribute is Ali and the type of uh, that node would be person when this node would be created this would be stored inside that variable and then return keyword would show that node which is stored in p1 on the screen so let's run it before running it let me tell you that if you want to uh, use if you want to store multiple um, attributes you can just put a comma here and then you can write uh, for the next variable next attribute as well like age 25 something like that so let's start with one attribute so that's it you can see that here we have a node in which uh, you can see that here the types are appearing and uh, the bottom part the attributes are displaying here this this attribute is a default attribute is a new 4j attribute uh, this is a default key that had every node in new 4j would have a unique id that would be assigned by new 4j itself you can see you can also represent the data inside in the form of table in the form of text in the form of code so we will uh, show the graph here and you can also change the colors if you want if you click if you know that uh, uh, if you have multiple types of nodes here you can change the color of each type as you like and then this is the caption the text you want to appear here over the node okay now you can see that our database have node labels person and uh, one attribute and there is no relationship here what if we want to create more nodes uh, so we can just copy paste so this is the one node syntax inside this parenthesis so you can just copy it and then just paste it and just paste, just paste it just copy paste and then uh, uh, change the data inside them like we can create Hassan who 
sin and then we can create a variable name like p2 p3 and then return p2 and p3 okay uh, now there is a little bit issue in this query and that is that we are creating if we if we run this query basically this query would create three nodes although we have already created the node with the name Ali uh, but this query would create another node with the name of Ali but uh, that nodes ID would be different so new 4j allows you to create a node with the same type with the same attributes but at the end uh, the IDs given by new 4j would be unique would be different so uh, for this scenario we will remove this because we already have created nodes created node with the name Ali so these this query would create two more nodes okay what if we want to uh, show all of the nodes so to show all of the nodes first of all we have to select them out of the database we have to fetch them out of the database so to fetch or to select uh, just like a select query in uh, SQL uh, we have select keyword we have match keyword here so in the match there are different styles of uh, matching so first of all we say it that match n we we have to give criteria inside the match so if we just write a variable name just write any name here like we write n here so n stands for node maybe we can write node here so what does it mean it means that we are not giving any criteria to it we are just asking it to display the nodes so this criteria would map on all of the nodes and when we write here return that node so what it will do that it will show you all of the nodes inside the database so if there are the thousands of nodes it will show you uh, some nodes like 25 like 30 you can also limit the number by your own by writing this limit keyword limit 25 like that so right now we have three nodes when I will run this query all of the three nodes would appear on the screen like this